Hello class, uh, welcome to the CMPS 160 online. My name is Jeff Seaman. I will be teaching this course this semester. Uh, this is my introduction video and I'm hoping that everyone else will follow suit with this. Uh, this is the format. Since it's an online class, I think it's important that we <clears throat> post a video of ourselves so that way everyone can see what everyone looks like and just kind of get a glimpse. And as we proceed with this class each week, I'll provide a online video lecture as well as a lab. So that way you have some idea of understanding what you're learning for a week. I think it's important versus just kind of reading a lecture and doing an assignment makes it very difficult to do the course. Uh, before I do an introduction, I, at this point, hopefully everyone's uh, watched the video on how to set up their gel, <clears throat> excuse me, their gel account. That will be required in order to take this lesson excuse me, I'll throw it declared. So set up your gel account. That will be important for setting up your environment and also important for doing your homework. So a little bit of introduction about myself to get started. Uh, this is my second year here teaching at Point Park University. Um, I started off uh, last, well, last year the fall was my first full-time year. And this is my second year. I've been teaching, um, I've been teaching for, since 2015. I started off working as an adjunct at CCAC, uh, Community College of Allegheny County. I started off over at the um, north side, well, north campus at McCandless. Um, I had taught classes in Java development, taught classes in mobile development with Android development. Uh, I taught classes with iOS development, uh, Python, database, and primarily my role there was teaching uh, introduction to advanced Java programming classes that uh, was my core of my classes as well as Android development. I taught there for what actually this is my last semester teaching there. I'm teaching an online class in Android development so that'll be four years I taught there. Um, I taught at West Liberty University. Uh, they are a uh, college over it's in West Liberty, West Virginia but it's right over past Willing, West Virginia. I teach a graduate school. It's um, it's students getting their MBA and the class is a uh, introduction to computer information systems. Uh, so I've been doing that for three years. I usually teach one, one to two classes a semester, uh, depending on their need for me. Uh, so altogether, I've been teaching for about four years now um, at the college level. Um, see a little bit about myself. Um, I've been in the IT industry or, uh, for the past 20 years. I primarily started off working in software development. Well, actually that's a lie. I started off working in database development. Um, early on, my career was more driven by database. I did database development. Um, later on, worked my way into a, a database administrator role. Uh, I worked for a small company the size of 40. I was their DBA. Um, I had maybe a year experience at DBA, so I really learned a lot in that position. Um, and then later on my career, I went directly into, I was still doing software development, but not as primary role. Um, so majority of my time was uh, spent in software development. Later on, I got into application development manager, as a manager. And now in my latter years in the IT industry, I uh, work for a company that we have 276,000 employees. Imagine that we have almost, the size of our employees is almost the size of a country. Um, so I actually managed a cybersecurity team. It's a software secure development uh, team I manage. And what it is is we have applications that are used to uh, um, uh, secure software development. And so I've been managing this team. I've been on this team for about nine, 10 months now. I manage a global team. I work remotely. Um, some of my teams are in South America, Europe, and so forth. So it's kind of all around, and um, I'm right here in Pittsburgh. Um, so it's, it's a fun, exciting opportunity. I, I enjoy it. It's, it's a fu fun environment. So it's a mixture of cybersecurity mixed with um, software development, ensuring that software development is done the appropriate way, which makes it important. Um, so that's what I'm doing currently now. So I bring to you real life experience. So. Not only do I teach, I still work in the industry. I've been in the industry for 20 years. Um, so that's a little bit about myself from that background. Um, personal note, <clears throat> I'm married. Uh, I have three kids. 
Um, one is a freshman here in, um, at Point Park. Um, another one is finishing her last year semester. So she'll get she'll graduate from Slippery Rock with her um, undergrad. And then I have a son who is a freshman in high school. Um, we have three cats. Um, their names are Big, Little, and the last one, her name is Jax. Uh, they're all female cats. Um, they're all crazy, but whose cats aren't crazy? Um, and that's pretty much um, pr pretty much me in a nutshell. Um, I like to travel. Um, it's it, it, it's one thing I like to do. Um, this past summer, we traveled to Alaska. Uh, we were up there for a couple of weeks. It was absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you're looking at my background here, that is actually a picture of Alaska, and it is um, kind of move this over here. But this is on a suspension bridge I'm walking across. That is probably I don't want to say 50 to 100 feet up in the in the air, and this goes down here, and it's a mountain. It's actually up in the Yukon Valley, which is north of Alaska. It's like across the border in Canada, so it's absolutely gorgeous up there. Every photo is a Photoshop, and it actually, when you take a photo, it doesn't even do justice because you're like, wow, it's amazing there. So I like to do that, and um, also like to. Uh, um, one of my new passions is uh, hobbies is making. Um, alcohol so I like to make wine and hard cider so um, that's that's what I like to do and that's me in a nutshell um, I can't wait to learn about you guys looking forward to uh, meeting everyone in class um, hopefully we have a good semester which I have no doubt about so um, I'll talk to you guys later